Hey Guardians, Cody SCM here and welcome to Destiny Follower. Bungie's live stream just ended about an hour ago and I got a ton of info to share with you guys about the spring update coming on April the 12th. I'll be doing more of these breakdown top videos each week leading up to the release of the update, so let's get right into it. The update which will launch on April the 12th will increase the light level cap to 335. We'll be getting a brand new strike that centers around new villain Malak, who has risen up and taken Orcs' place for the time being. This guy looks pretty awesome, and I can't wait to fight him. The Winner's Run strike is also being updated to receive a Taken variant, complete with strike-specific rewards. So get ready to kill a Taken version of the Archon Priest. Along with these strikes, the biggest portion of the update centers around the Prison of Elders. The Prison of Elders has received a huge overhaul with a level 41 version that can spawn four random Taken bosses or four Prison of Elders bosses all scaled to 260 light. You can also farm this area repeatedly because the chest at the end no longer requires a treasure key to open. Probably the most exciting portion of this update is the brand new level 42 Challenge of Elders mode. Guardians can purchase a passage from Varix in the Reef that allows them to enter this score-based Challenge of Elders mode, where the recommended light level is 320. This mode gives you points for every action you take, like precision kills, generating orbs, melee kills, and so on, but if you take too long clearing an arena floor, Varix will begin to deduct points from you, so it's all about finding that balance between racking up as many points as possible and killing bosses efficiently within the time limit. On the passage you purchase, you and your friends compete to earn a high score on a single run, which when completed will reward you with a guaranteed weapon from Varix that can drop at 335 light. There is also a cumulative score challenge on the passage that once you collect a certain amount of score in challenge mode in a week, you will receive a guaranteed armor that can also drop at 335. Next week, Bungie is going to be discussing the new items, weapons, and armor coming with the spring update, and as soon as I get a chance to take a look at it and analyze it, I'll bring a breakdown video to you guys. So if you could, please be sure to leave a like on this video, and make sure to subscribe for more daily Destiny videos and the latest Destiny 2 news. As always, my name is Cody SCM, and thanks for for watching Destiny Follower.